Hello, I'd like to tell you about the We're Here Know How project, exploring open practices in education. The slides I'm using are a remix based on the slides prepared by Laura Hilliger. So big thank you to her for sharing her slides with Creative Commons licenses. So who are we? Well, the team involved in this project are both staff and students working together as co-researchers. And the reason we're able to do that is because we received support from We're Here, the Warwick International Higher Education Academy. You can see some of us here enjoying a coffee and a chat about the project. What does open really mean? I guess most people have heard open in various contexts over recent years in higher education. We've heard about open access, open data, open source for technology and open education. But what are the underlying themes that open shares? Well, transparency is one of those. Being open so that other people can understand what we do and the decisions we make, that's a very important first principle of openness. Working in a decentralized way, working together and collaborating, that's a, again a first principle of open. And the reason we do these things is because we can innovate and we can be more effective when we work openly. So this is what open means to us. The project is going to touch on 10 dimensions of open education. And the image you can see here um, has come from the Opening Up Education Report, a framework that was developed by the EU Science Hub. And as you can see, we're going to be touching on many different aspects of open education, from leadership, choices of technology, open educational resources, pedagogy, recognition, collaboration, research, access, and quality. The project has a distributed leadership. Now, what that means is rather than having a conventional hierarchy um, with people, as you can see in the diagram here, illustrated on the left, at various places within that hierarchy, Everybody, as on the right, in the diagram on the right, has an important part as a node in a network, uh, or a sort of organism that actually manages the project and works together. Everybody has to take responsibility for their part of the project. So the sort of behaviours we expect from our project nodes are the sort of behaviours that you probably learnt when you were in um, primary school. Um, so these are the sorts of things that we might expect people to be able to empathise with the situations of others, to be able to listen, to give credit where credit's due, to share openly, to be polite, kind and human, to admit our mistakes and to act with integrity. We hope our nodes will lead by example and help bring openness throughout Warwick. Each individual within the project is responsible. As I mentioned earlier, we are all nodes. So we work through our um, digital planning tools in order to pick up what has to be done and to play our part in the project. We work through open practices. So one of those essentially is the transparency, as I mentioned before. As we go through the, the project's activities, which run all the way until the summer, we'll be sharing our activities in channels that are openly available to anybody. So remotely on Twitter, using the know how we're here hashtags, through a Google Plus community, the know how community, you're all welcome to come and join and to see what's going on. You'll also be able to keep up to date with us on the We're Here news pages or on our, on our blog. And of course, we are also physical people walking around Warwick campus and interacting with colleagues. So we're more than happy to listen and talk to you about our project. All the outputs of the project will be shared using Creative Commons licenses. And that means that 
the outputs and the suggestions and the tools that we find and the tips to overcome barriers to openness will be available for you to share with your department or your colleagues, your students. So do keep an eye on the Know How Project. We look forward to hearing from you.